Now for a bit of fun and fluff from the Royal Show. Every year, thousands of people enjoy the thrills and the excitement of the sideshows. But for some, it's a tense time when they and their animals face the judges in the competitive side of the big event. And if you think herding cats is tough, try showing them and judging them. With their staff in tow, the state's top cats turned out in style for their one day of the year. There was preening and plumping, fluffing and fussing. Some seriously suffered for their art. But if they thought that was undignified, the vet check was to come. These were just a taste of the preparations needed to compete at the 2010 Royal Adelaide Show. Some people take all week to get their cats ready for a show. And a good show cat, it would take you that long if you're conscientious. Yes, you love mummy, don't you? When all is in readiness, the cats are curtained. Show talk for being placed in your cage. Then nervous owners are herded outside for the judges to begin their work. Nice tail, lovely shoulders, bone in and body, nice round head. This cat has a broad modified wedge. The white inverted V goes into the corner of the eye and... As the weight went on, tension was mounting beyond the glass. My cat's just a domestic cat, so... I didn't want him to win, but I really do. Oh, I've got a ribbon on my cage, so I think I might have done okay. Then, the moment of truth. The winner. Give him a kiss. Oh, congratulations, oh, yeah. Oh, it's what it's all about. We love our cats, but the wins are always nice. It's really nice to have a win. But while some were happy just to see their precious pets recognised, for others, this was a very serious competition. A time to benchmark their business. This year is very, very important. My kids have just started out um, almost two years ago now. I've taken over from another cattery, so it's very, very important for me to get my name out there and to get my breed out there. At the other end of the age spectrum, there was also joy. It feels terrific and, um, and I'm glad that Candy won. Um, he's only just about 18 months. After the celebrations, there was a chance to meet the adoring fans and time for one last question. The old saying goes that dogs and their owners look alike. Can the same be said for cats? And I've seen it in dogs and um, as I've always had a certain flat face cat, I, I would hate to think I've got a flat face. <laughs> I got cat class and I got cat style.